Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. This is actually part three of the wood flooring slash laminate slash pergo installation that I've been working on. Now I wanted to show you in this part, this is the finishing part of it. And what I ended up doing is quarter round all the way around the baseboard instead of replacing the baseboards. So what I'm gonna be using is a miter saw and I'll just be cutting them 45 in the corners and then 45 on the other side and then just hooking those up together. Now what's going to be tricky is if you have these rounded corners so you really got to work with your angles to get these right but uh, that can be done with the miter saw also. And then what I'll be doing too I'll just throw a bead of adhesive on the back of all the quarter round just on the wall side to make sure it sticks and stays down. And then also, I'll show you what I'm using here. I'm using an inch and a quarter brad nails uh, for the installation. And I'll be shooting these just a little bit above the bottom of this and just straight towards the wall. And it, they, they countersunk, countersink pretty well, so they won't be noticeable. Yeah, if you have some sticking out, you can push them in with a little bit of uh, just a punch, a small punch. You can push them in, and then you can fill in the hole with some wood putty. And you just want to get the color of whatever your quarter round is. Yeah, I wanted to show you, I got a little bit of adhesive just on the bottom edge of that quarter round and it's not solid it's not all the way through just a few spots here and there your brad nail is really going to hold this down so this is just a little extra to hold it in place Just want to make sure it's. I got my 45 degree cut there. You just want to make sure it's all the way to the edge right there before you start nailing it. And I've got the brad nailer PSI at about 80. That should provide good penetration into the wall. it's pushed down it looks good and go ahead and start nailing it in I'll show you that So you just do that every foot to two feet and that should hold it sufficiently. Now for the T-molding, what you want to do is line it up into the track and make sure your track has had a day or two to dry uh, with the adhesive on the bottom of it. Once your track has sat on the adhesive for a few days, you should be ready to get it uh, put your t-molding on so to put your t-molding on what you want to do is just line it up with the track and just push it in now it's not that easy you got to sort of wedge it in there and if all else fails you can just stand on it a little bit and it should push down into there just make sure you don't munch up this section of it. So, all right. Well, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your next home or automotive project.